This week's Ask Dr. Dury is about a new drug called Ixazomib. Ixazomib is a proteasome inhibitor. This means that it's a drug like Velcade and like Carfilzomib, uh, Kyprolis. In this case, uh, Ixazomib is by mouth. It's an oral agent. And so this is an agent which has uh, been in trials and uh, data have in fact been submitted to the FDA. The questioner wants to know if the FDA do approve Ixazomib, this oral proteasome inhibitor for use, would it be okay to use this oral proteasome inhibitor versus taking subcutaneous Velcade twice a month as a maintenance? So obviously taking the Ixazomib by mouth would be much more convenient for this lady versus taking the sub-Q Velcade. So what is the answer? We unfortunately don't have a clear answer uh, for, for this lady. Uh, the FDA is not finished reviewing the data and the first thing that we don't know is what they will approve uh, exazomib for. What will be the exact approval situation for the exazomib? Obviously, the, the benefit in the maintenance setting takes some time uh, to determine for sure because you need long-term follow-up to see how long will you stay in remission with exazomib by mouth versus the Valcade using the sub-Q shot. So actually my, my s suspicion is that the FDA will not be able to approve exazomib for this exact particular use, uh, although they will uh, approve it for, for use in, uh, in general. So. This is a situation where uh, discussion uh, with, the, with the local doctor is going to be very important. If, if exazabib is, is approved and it's available, this will have to be discussed. Is it safe to stop taking the sub-Q Valcade and consider taking the uh, exazabib by mouth if, if it can be reimbursed uh, through insurance? I, I think that these are uh, interesting and delicate questions which uh, just illustrate how difficult it is to introduce a new drug and find out all the different values and relative uh, benefits or risks uh, when you uh, use one new drug versus an old drug where you have a lot of uh, previous experience. And so, yes, the oral agent is going to be simpler and safer, seems to be uh, quite well tolerated. Will it hold the patient in remission equally well, well versus the sub-Q Velcade? Uh, we just need to wait and see, but it may be something where it could be uh, safe enough to try, but under very close discussion with your doctor and with proper guidance, and uh, uh, provided that it might even be feasible based upon uh, the FDA review of, of the exazomib. So, I think we'll need to wait and see on this, but certainly uh, an interesting uh, question to be considering and, and something that would be very nice uh, if, if it was uh, shown to be equally uh, valuable to use the exazimate.